Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an NPC walk to a specific area in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. So first off, you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio. So, um, so go in Roblox Studio, click on new. If you don't see that like this, if you just see this then click on new, so it pops up this. So click on base plate or flat terrain. You can do flat terrain. Um, actually, I'm going to do flat terrain. Wait for this to load, and then I'm just going to close it. That should be good. And then I'm going to hit flat terrain because I don't... I, I'm i just going to just do flat terrain for now. I'm just going to delete that lighting. out. No, let's keep the lighting. It looks nice. Okay. So, you, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get an NPC, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to use an, uh, I don't know what to, uh, I, okay, I'm just going to use a plugin made by Roblox, and we're going to do, it works in R, uh, R6 and R15, um, I'm just going to do, uh, R15, and we're going to insert a block rig, and I'm just going to put this here, I want an animation, but that's too advanced for today's video, this is just a simple tutorial on how to make it, um, so you're going to want to insert a part so this is basically going to be your ending part this is the where this is where the people are going to end so you're going to want to name it to i uh, don't know don't we're not going to actually name anything so go into properties open up properties so let's go and see properties so we have the we have um, brick color I'll have all these properties so you're going to want to anchor it and now we're going to make it um, made the brick color to black or something I'm just going to actually size it so so 0.6 comma 0.6 comma 0.6 so that will just make it a, like a little ending part it's pretty cute. actually let's name it put it to like Actually, let's do green, and then that will be our ending part. Okay, so now inside of your dummy, add in a script or whatever NPC. Insert, add, insert a script, and also make sure there's a humanoid inside of there. Because if there's no humanoid, it won't work. So now, because you're going to do script, that, that, so I'm, we're not going to do the script right now, but we have to do one more last thing and name it. I'm just going to name it to... Um, move NPC. And then I'm going to go into the humanoid root part, and click on the properties, and make the unanchor property to false. That just means that it will be able to move and stuff. Now inside of the, inside of your script, you're going to want to uh, remove the print hello world, like, uh, uh, you're going to want to remove this, like, uh, this print when you insert a script, and you're gonna want to remove that, and name your script to. I'm just actually gonna name it to Handler. So now what we're gonna to want to do is script dot parent, and we're gonna get the humanoid. So script dot parent dot humanoid dot, and then we're gonna change a property, and the property that we're gonna to want to change is this property called um, walk to point is equal to vector three dot new. Now put in the position value um, of where you want to walk. So we're obviously gonna wanna walk here. So we're gonna get the position out of that. And get this position and right, right click it, copy. And then go in back into your script and then paste those numbers in. So right click and paste. Oh, paste it inside of the brackets, guys. Make sure. And now, it will walk to this part because we set it. So we set it in the script. Now we're going to go and change the property of go here, search up the property walk to point, and then we're going to go here and change that to this. So that's what it's going to do. So I'm just going to set it to this because that's at default. So, yeah. Now it should walk. So click this little arrow and click on run. And that should run your game. 
So it's just going to run real quick. And yep, and it moves to this part. And yeah, it moves to this part. For some reason, it doesn't like, uh, it doesn't go to this part completely, but it goes to the area. It's a good thing it doesn't get like stuck into the part or something. So that's pretty cool, guys. That's a quick tutorial on how to um, do those things. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's what uh, that's what we basically did is we just um, we just told the script to go into the humanoid and we're gonna go inside of the human and to walk to point. So go into the property, walk to point, which as I just told you, and change that to that position. So yeah. That, and you can even make it faster if you want. To make it faster, you can change this number here. You can make it to 20. Or I'm just going to do 180. So it's probably going to do it like very fast. But we're not, probably not going to be able to see it though. Because, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he went so fast. He went so fast. It used to be here. But now he went so fast and landed here. Anyways, you, but this isn't jumping. The problem is that it doesn't jump, and that's why you need you need you need to um uh you need to use a service called Pathfinding Service. But this is just very basic tutorial on how to just um, make an NPC walk to a specific area. So like, if there was a wall. If there is a wall, you obviously um, you will obviously need to walk around it, right? Because um, yeah, you just have to walk around it because only if the infos can't collide false. But but obviously right now he would not he would just go straight into it. And that's the problem with this um, thing, this script is they it doesn't allow you to make it what make it so they go that it goes inside. But obviously, if I move the wall, yeah, he'll go back. So, so yeah, that's that's the problem of right now Pathfind of the of this way. It's only one line just just to make this NPC move. Yeah. It's a very basic tutorial on how to make an NPC walk somewhere in your game. So if you really want something that is advanced and you want them to do hobbies and stuff, you need to do pathfinding service because this is way too basic. If it had a wall, it can't go through it. It can't go, it can't go around it. So yeah, that's basically my tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And you'll and uh, subscribe so you can see more tutorial, uh, so more gaming videos from my B. And yeah, bye. See you next video.